Okay, so I just wanted to start this video before it goes in uh, because this is another update in regards to how my Insta360 X4 and my Senna comms are talking to each other. Um, and the simple answer is uh, they're still not working together. I've had to process the audio on the video out here. I am going to do a almost like a tutorial video to show the software that I use to make or salvage the audio because uh, as you'll see in the upcoming video that's coming out after this um, there was there was static so what I did to try to remedy the peaking uh, of the audio between the two uh, did not did not work but I didn't want to waste the video so because uh, uh, there is a bunch of stuff that I'm talking about and uh, the hope is at this point that um, I'll be trying some more things. Uh, I still am in communication with both Senna and Insta360 to try to figure out what's going on here. And as soon as I come up with a remedy or a fix or they come up with a fix, then we'll, uh, we'll make sure that we tell you guys. But until then, uh, enjoy the video. Uh, just realize that the audio is a lot cleaner now after what I've done to it than it was and uh, I will have another video coming up in a couple days showing you how and what software that I use to fix it so stay tuned for that all right off to the off to the video main thing uh, here you go all right my friends so this is a uh, test number something or other and uh when this video comes out, there there may actually be a fix already. I don't know. So, for you guys that have watched the channel, one of the issues that I've been having with the uh, Senna and the X4 is in regards to capturing audio, of course, from the Senna Bluetooth comms to, uh, to the... Uh, uh, Insta360 X4 and just so you guys get a idea and update on what I've done so far so uh, the X4 I had to set all the way down to minus 18 dBs to be able to get it to sound okay right this actually sound pretty good uh, from the helmet when um, uh, I, I'm riding. If I had it at zero or minus six, even in normal day-to-day -day riding, even like this, she would uh, she would peak, and you would get all kinds of uh, almost like a static sound that would happen. So that's no good. Nobody wants that. And lastly, uh, I think a big one was that um, the uh, what you call it. If I got to highway speeds, even at minus 18, uh, if, if I had my visor down, it wasn't bad. But if I had my visor up, which my visor is up as of now, uh, even at minus 18, I was getting static. So my guess was that with the visor up, I was getting enough motor noise and wind noise and engine noise and all kinds of stuff, even when I'm talking just normal, that... Uh, at like 110 kilometers an hour and you guys hopefully will be able to see i'm hoping that the ace pro which is this guy here will give you all the uh speed stats on the screen so you guys can see how fast i'm going and again my visor as you can see my visor is up because that's the test so i reached out to senna and insta 360 to be like um what's 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 going down because the ace pro like captures the audio fine and I'm pretty sure, uh, like I've tested other, uh, other uh, comms, but not with the X4. So, and it, it, it's not, it's not the comm that's the issue is what I could figure out. And when I talked to Senna, Senna was like, there's, there, uh, the only thing we can suggest is kind of doubling up on the wind protection that is coming into the mic to kind of just try to get it to lower the amount of uh, noise coming through so I was like okay yeah that that makes sense uh, that that would help or they're like or ride with your visor down all the time and now at this this like right let's say right now it's plus 10 
riding with my visor down is definitely not a concern, right? It's I, I would have no problems with it. It helps keep keep my face warm for sure. But in the summer, when you know you're riding and it's you know I don't know mid to high 20s and uh, or higher, right? You know we can get in the, into the 30s. The last thing I want to be doing is going out for a ride and for 20 minutes I have to have my visor down and I'm getting no wind and uh, my face my face is is just hot all the time I, I i i can't see myself one that i really don't so i actually like i said i reached out to insist 360 as well and uh they were really good they sent me uh they put me in touch with i don't know if it's one of their uh engineers or whatever it was um and because of that uh he was like send me send me a video of it right so i sent him all the information, all the settings, etc., etc. All right, we're getting up to speed here, right? So, this this right now would normally be where I would have an issue. And again, you guys are seeing the screen, so you know how fast I'm going. So plenty fast. I'm just going to set my cruise control here, so I don't have to pay too much attention to it. Here we go. Uh, so we're going. This is kind of the speed. This is 110-ish. I'm a little over 110, I think. Uh, but I want to test it. So two things, Insta360 actually said that uh, they they saw, they saw an issue, right? Especially since they're kind of promoting with the X4 that it can connect to like Cardos and antennas and, and things like that. So they're like, yep, that seems to be an issue. And I explained that my Ace Pro didn't have that problem. Or, and uh, uh, they said that they were hoping that by the end of possibly this month, which I'm recording this in uh, end of May, uh, or end of June uh, that they should have a firmware update uh, that they will do some testing and hopefully release a fix for it because I was the big thing I was like saying is that even if they can release that decibel gain uh, from a maximum of going like to minus 18 to getting it to like minus 24 or, or maybe even going up to minus 30 uh, then that that may be something problem is is the issue there, I think, would be that, uh, you know, if you're not driving on the highway, then you don't want your gain up that much. And uh, you don't want to have to stop every time or change the settings every time that you want to uh, <laughs> go fast. So, anyways, that looks like it may be something that should be coming out. And hopefully that is something that they uh, figure out how to fix. But as of now, my remedy is, of course, is that with the Santa helmet and with the Santa comms, they do come with like the little foam uh things that you put over top of your mic and you know that's that's to help with some like wind noise reduction it also helps with uh just you know if your face is rubbing up against the microphone you know it, it it's not going to be as uh obvious i would think with that on there so what i did is uh i i kept one of those on for sure and then i uh, Fortunately, had an old mic that I used to use that had a small little uh, like a, a wind muff on it, uh, whatever you want to call it, dead cat, right? And so I took that off that mic and put it on top of this mic. So now it's got it's it's got double protection, right? It's got the actual foam protector on it and it's got the uh, dead cat on it. So my hope is that with with the two of those, that we should be good that's that's the hope right and uh again you guys have heard it and, and if it's if it started crackling in here even with the two on it <coughs> excuse me uh then uh, i'm gonna have to wait for a firmware update but if i'm traveling at this speed now visor open you know with the two so i have the like i said the foam and the dead cat on here uh and i'm getting no static then uh, I'm 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 good. I'm pleased. I'm happy. You know, I, I don't mind that at all. And to be completely honest with you, uh, my guess would be having the two forms of protection on it. Number one means that the uh, wind canceling that the Insta360 has to do isn't going to have to be as high, which is good. You're going to get a, probably a, a little bit more of a and maybe like a natural sound, uh, maybe a more bassy sound, which would be excellent. You know. Maybe you'll get more motor noise in there, which also I think is excellent. Um, and uh, it's not, it's, it's in a good position that 
uh, I'm not I'm not getting uh, any kind of fuzzies rubbing up against my face because there's enough space in the helmet that that's not a concern but yeah as long as it sounds good and uh, the settings are working perfectly fine that's good what we're gonna do is before I shut this off is we are going to uh, oh I should I should I run this program all the time relive you guys ever seen that I, I talk about it every once in a while yeah I don't care uh, not something I should necessarily be doing while I'm riding but we'll start that a little late to the game but that's okay I gotta get used to doing that because I want to be recording all my rides anyway um, when I when I get up here we're gonna hear uh, maybe a little bit of acceleration again because that's when the bike gets the loudest and you know the, the loudest sound with the wind noise if it's going to crackle at all my guess would be that's when it's going to do it so i'm going to slow myself down just a little bit just so that we have to have a bit of acceleration so we get more 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 sound more rumble you know what i'm saying uh and we are traveling at about 96 ish right now and at some point right away, we should uh, come into the 110 zone. At that point, I will resume my uh, cruise control just to let it fire up a little bit. And there's the sign coming up right there. And then again, what I'll do is once I get up to speed, then uh, I'm going to put my visor down again just to see uh, uh, if, if, you know, what that sounds like. Because maybe it just sounds better. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, there it is. 110. Good old resume. All right. And we are off. Cruising again at 112, 113. Somewhere in that range. But again, this is pretty much as loud as I would say this is going to get, you know. Yeah, that, uh, that's all right. Well, I think it's all right. We'll find out if it's all right. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I'm having fun with these cameras. You know what, uh, you know, it, the camera, the helmet, all of it, it's kind of it's kind of nice being able to play around with them and go one, uh, do these videos, which gets me out on the bike, which is fantastic. Number two is that uh, finding out the issues, which is always good, which is uh, what I hope some of these companies that actually send me some of these uh, pieces of hardware are, are wanting me to do. And uh, hopefully because, you know, I found this, those of you with uh, Pardo or Senna or a Calm that is maybe going through the same issue, uh, we'll, we'll be able to have that remedied. All right, guys, that's it for me. Oh, one tech, hold on. Visor down. Visor down is going to sound way better because even inside the visor, number one is just what I hear always sounds more bassy for sure number two is that it just it just cuts out so much wind coming to the mic that's inside the helmet so that's that's also good all right guys that's it i am going to uh leave you guys there and uh we'll see you guys next video